Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to find acceleration from a velocity time graph. So let's get started. Now remember, we can find displacement or distance from a velocity time graph, but the other main thing we can find from a velocity time graph is acceleration. And we can do this in two ways. So it says here that acceleration is equal to the gradient of the line on a velocity time graph. So remember, displacement or distance was equal to the area under the velocity time graph, whereas acceleration is equal to the gradient of the line on the velocity time graph. And you need to remember the difference. So to shorten that, we can say that A equals the gradient of line on a VT graph, and you should know how to find the gradient of a straight line from maths. So it says to calculate the gradient of a line, use the following relationship, M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, i.e. the change in Y over the change in X, where X1, Y1 and X2, Y2 are two points on the line. So if you've got a straight line on a velocity time graph, you choose two points on that line of best fit and you plug it into this equation to find the gradient, and that gradient will be equal to the acceleration in meters per second squared. However, an alternative method, and one that a lot of pupils tend to prefer using, is this one here. So it says an alternative method is to simply use the acceleration equation. So you can take values of initial velocity u, final velocity v, and total time t from the velocity time graph, and plug it straight into the acceleration equation to get the same answer as the gradient method would give you. So let's look at an example for how to do this. So it says to determine the acceleration of the object which is moving north with the following VT graph, the gradient of the line must be calculated. So here we're using the first method which is calculating the gradient. So we've got this velocity time graph V against T and these dashed lines have actually just been included to make it easier to choose points on the line because there's no main grid lines. So to choose two points on the line here, we could say that x1, y1 was the point 2, 5, and we could say the point x2, y2 was 10, 25. And remember, we're saying that acceleration is equal to that gradient, so a is equal to the gradient of the line, which equals the change in y over the change in x, which is equal to 25 minus 5 divided by 10 minus 2, and that then gives us 20 divided by 8, which is the same as 2.5 meters per second squared. But remember, acceleration is a vector quantity, so we want a direction there as well, which is north. And remember, north was given in the question, so we can state that as our direction. So that's the first way of doing it, but you could also do it using the acceleration equation to get the same answer. So I'd pick my values of u, v, and t, and sub them into a equals v minus u over t, the acceleration equation. So in this case, my initial velocity u would be zero because we start off at zero meters per second. I could take my final velocity v to be this point up here, which is at 30 meters per second. Second, and I could say that my total time went from here all the way along to 12 seconds. So if I do a equals v minus u over t, I get 30 minus 0 divided by 12, and 30 divided by 12 will give me the same answer as 20 divided by 8. So I get 2.5 meters per second squared north again. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.